I spent $1.5 million to open up my reptile zoo. Let's go ahead and take a look. And part of it was animals, and part of it, of course, is set up. This animal alone, Tyson, the albino box turtle, is one of only a few in the entire world. These guys go for about $25,000. But the fact is, is, even if you had 25 grand, you can't buy one because there's only a few of them in the entire world. Tyson actually lives in this bank of enclosures right here. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. We've got Helen, we've got Flaming Hot, we've got Skink down here, we've got Cherry Pop, we've got a bull snake down here, and of course the enclosures themselves. So this spot right here alone costs about $40,000. Now the one thing I want to tell you guys is that money really doesn't matter to me. That's why I spend all my money on reptiles. So I just wanted to let you guys know because so many people ask me how much it costs to actually open up the reptarium. For instance, Baby Kush. Now Baby Kush is about three years old. When it came in as a baby, it was a captive hatch animal out of Indonesia and a captive hatch croc monitor is about $7,500. Now that he's about four years old, captive hatch, I don't know what it would actually go for, but it's a baby about $7,500. And this enclosure alone costs about $15,000. Now sloths like Drogo that are captive born can go for up to twenty dollars to $25,000 depending on how young they are and how docile they are. I love Drogo to death and I want to continue to reiterate the fact is I never really put a dollar bill on any animal. To be honest with you, when I'm buying animals, I oftentimes don't even ask the price. I'm like, I want it. Whatever it costs is fine with me. And I tell you what, this room was very expensive. This tree alone is $2,500. That ceiling up there cost me $5,000 and the rest of this place cost another $7,000. So this room alone cost about $15,000. And again, these animals are way more than money to me. I wouldn't take a million dollars for an animal like Perdita because she is my baby. Kauri ticks now go for, I think, about $2,500. But when I bought her as a baby, they were $7,500. Remember her? She was a pure white, beautiful little baby reticulated by then. And now she's developed into an amazing animal. And oh my gosh, is she getting big. You know, there's so many costs when opening up a place like this that I didn't even imagine when I first started. Take, for instance, a water bowl like this. This is just a water bowl, and it costs about $150. And you figure every enclosure has to have a really nice water bowl. These are amazing. These are, of course, green tree monitor lizards. Absolutely wonderful animals. As captive bred babies like these ones were, they're about $2,500 a piece, and we got a pair of them, and they are really spectacular. Razor sharp nails, there's no doubt about that. By the way, if you're liking this video, go ahead and smash that like button, as well as do me a favor, hit that subscription button too. The fish buy, you know, fish are not cheap, and you guys know I am about to do an aquarium, which is gonna be super expensive. It's not the fact that the tanks and the fish cost a lot, it's the filtration, especially with something like the fish buy. There's actually four steps of filtration because when you put your feet in here, we don't want somebody that maybe has foot fungus to transfer to another person, right? So those four levels of filtration are super expensive, including a UV sterilizer in the end. So this entire setup cost about $10,000. You know, I'm realizing that every animal I bring out is getting so big. Of course, Al Machino is a Machino reticulated python. Not really sure what they go for now, but when we got out, it was about five grand. One of the things that really took me by surprise, to be honest with you, is all of the foliage that is all around the reptarium. You know, all of it is super expensive. We have about $40,000 just in artificial plants in this place. Of course, salt and pepper. I bought these guys when they were babies, so they only get more expensive as they get older. But baby albino alligators right now, I'll go for between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars, and of course, pepper was a little bit cheaper, but now it's actually way more expensive. I paid fifteen thousand dollars at the time. Now you would have to pay probably forty, maybe even fifty thousand dollars for a black alligator. These guys are amazing, but they certainly weren't cheap. And like I mentioned, there's a bunch of things that aren't even animal related. Party room is such a big part of what happens here at the Reptarium, and this mural alone that Jay actually painted That's himself. Me. Now he didn't actually paint it, but he did take all the pictures and put it into this cool collage. This alone cost five thousand and then the whole room with the rocks and the trees and everything else that was another four thousand dollars so you figure this room alone it's almost ten grand Brillo my baby oh my god I love him my six banded armadillo this is one of my favorite animals for sure I never thought I would own an armadillo and I certainly never thought I was gonna fall in love with him when I bought Brillo it was seven thousand dollars but I hear that because of Brillo and the fact that people love him so much the people that are breeding these guys are telling me that now they're gonna go for like ten thousand dollars so anyone that wanted to buy a six banded armadillo like Brillo here I'm sorry that that we actually jacked the price up for you guys. I didn't mean it, but after people saw how amazing he is, everybody wants these guys now. What? 
Heinz is a crimson albino iguana. And these guys, you know, now are a little bit wonky because iguana laws and stuff like that are crazy down in Florida. So the prices have kind of plummeted because people have tried to get away from it. And the flip side, I think that they're going to actually go way up in price because all the people in Florida that were breeding them, which was the majority of them, aren't going to be breeding them in the future and they'll be even more sought after. But when I bought Heinz and French's, they were $5,000 a piece. There you go, Heinz. Go ahead. Go up there, buddy. Every one of these vines and branches and everything that you see in here are all pretty expensive. I mean, sometimes a vine alone can be up to $100 and every enclosure has multiple vines and multiple branches. Oh my goodness. Just take a look. Come over here, guys. Take a look at Ivy right now and look at how big she looks back here. I mean, that is swelling of babies. Anacondas, you know, as babies go for about $1,500 to $2,500. Usually females about two to $2,500, something like that. When I bought Ivy, she was actually a little bit bigger. I think we paid $5,000 for her. But I'll be honest with you, this animal is priceless to me. Again, all my animals are priceless. I've been offered a lot of money for certain animals in this place, like Elvis. One day, a guy came in and literally wanted Elvis so bad that he offered me $100,000 for Elvis, and I turned him down. And that was no joke. I mean, I said, no way. There's just no amount of money that could possibly get these animals away from me because I love them so much. But this enclosure alone was about $40,000. I think it was actually $37,000, if I'm not mistaken. So the enclosure is enough. And that's before we started adding plants. Other thing we haven't talked about is lighting. Every single enclosure has heat mat. They have lighting, UV lighting, basking lights, sun bulbs that can cost up to $80 a piece. I probably have $30,000 just into lighting into the Reptaria. What are you doing? Uh-oh, she smelled blood in the water. I tell you what, Lori loves her gift shop. And this is just a small gift shop. That's going to be about four times the size when we do our expansion. So there's going to be so much more in here. But these plushies and shirts are all expensive. And Lori goes nuts with them. Take a look at this. These are all shirts, all hoodies, hoodie shirts, all backlog right here. Then we have all of our things here. We've got our animal toys here. We've got DVDs. We've got more animal toys here. Plushies, 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 plushies. Alligator, very cute. I love this little dart frog right here. We've got snakes. We've got sequence snakes. We've got plushies, plushies, snakes, 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 snakes. At any given time, we have about $100,000 just in inventory for the gift shop. I love this turtle pond behind me, obviously. And these albino red earth sliders go for $250 a piece. We have 15 albino red earth sliders. And then the enclosure itself costs over $10,000. Diddy and Dixie absolutely love these guys. Of course, this is Diddy here. Dixie is up over here. They're both just chilling out. And this enclosure is 12 foot long. It's not very wide, but it's 12 foot long, which is a gigantic enclosure. The glass alone on this is what really costs a lot of money. The rhino iguanas now aren't that expensive. They're only maybe $400 a piece, but they're so worth it. And Diddy and Dixie are, again, priceless to me. But this enclosure was an expensive one to build at almost $20,000. Ben and Jerry, the two-headed snake. What more can be said about these? Again, another animal that is really priceless to me. Now, I paid $40,000 for this animal, but I've heard of two-headed snakes selling for as much as $75,000 or $100,000. I tell you what, I love Ben and Jerry. They are such amazing animals, and there is no dollar amount that would ever be enough to sell this animal. There's not enough money to sell any of my animals. Woohoo, doggy. I tell you what, Night Fury, the motley golden child reticulated python. This is one that is absolutely beautiful. Now, some motley golden childs actually aren't jet black. That's what makes this animal so rare. He cost me $5,000 as a baby, and wow, is he worth every bit. Look at the iridescence on this monkey. He is a showstopper. Marshmallow, the ivory Burmese python. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what these guys cost. Now, when I got it, it was $1,000 for a baby. I think that they're a little bit cheaper now, but it's just a cool animal. And again, it's not pure white, but it certainly is a whitish animal. And that's why we call it marshmallow, kind of like a toasted marshmallow. And it's a really juxtaposition between this and Night Fury. Snow blind albino water monitor. This guy is a rare animal. It's the only snow blind T negative albino in the country. These guys would go for 15 to $20,000 for T negative. But the fact that he's the only one is really unique and absolutely love him. As a matter of fact, he's much like, of course, my albino Nile monitor, which is chicken strip. The difference is, is that chicken strip is the only albino Nile monitor in the entire world, but they look pretty similar. Chicken strip, when it was a baby, I paid $25,000 for it, but I've already been offered $75,000 in the past and I've turned it down again. I love each and every one, even my least expensive animal in here. I wouldn't take any amount of money for him because I love them all so much, but this guy is absolutely going to turn out to be an amazing animal when it's larger, like the size of Elvis. Bugatti the Bolens pythons. Now, Bolens pythons are obviously a extremely rare, one of the more rare pythons on the entire planet. When babies like these come in, and this is a captive hatch animal that was from a female that laid eggs over in the wild, but they were captive hatch on a farm, and these guys cost $7,500 as babies. 
Hi, Bella. Of course, Bella is my baby. I tell you what, there would be no chance that even a uh, hundred million dollars would buy her for me because I tell you what, she is my baby. I love her to death. I think we paid twelve hundred dollars for her, and it was my first rhino iguana that I had ever got, and she was life changing. I mean, she's brought me so much happiness and joy. You can't even imagine. I love you. I tell you, she's definitely amazing and certainly priceless. Neo is definitely a new animal ambassador here, but an absolute ripper. I bought it when it was only like seven or eight days old, and it's getting so big now, it's absolutely amazing. She actually cost me $7,500 as a baby, but look at that animal right there. That is an absolute ripper. Beetlejuice, the Bell's Face Lace Monitor, an absolute dream animal of mine, one that I thought I'd never get. Now they're becoming a little bit more common, but when I bought Beetlejuice, they were still really rare. It was seven $7,500 as a tiny little baby. I mean, it was literally this big and it cost me that much. Now they become a little bit more affordable, but I tell you what, that is going to be an amazing animal. And then one day we'll get like five to six foot. I got Elvis when he was several months old, so he was already slightly habituated, but over the last three or so years, he's become such an amazing tame animal. And I paid $2,500 for him at that age. Like I said earlier in the video, someone actually offered me $100,000 for this animal and they were no joke. They were like, I I seriously will give you $100,000 for it. And I was like, nope, ain't going to happen. There's no way I could get rid of Elvis. I mean, look at this little monkey right here. This animal is the best. Potato, the Centralian Blue Tongue Skink. This guy is one of the rarer animals we have as well. There's hardly any of them here in the States, maybe six or eight, 10 at the most for sure. And if any ever do come available, they're probably gonna be about $10,000 per animal. Two-headed turtles like chopsticks aren't as rare as Ben and Jerry the two-headed snake, but they're still very rare and very expensive, going for up to $5,000 dollars a piece or should I say for both of them. Gemma is a pretty special animal. She's actually what they call a ghost reticulated python which is an actually rare morph in itself and the fact that she was really big when I got her and super super docile it wasn't cheap you know but it was worth it because I really wanted a really giant snake that was really good to handle because Lucy's obviously isn't that way and Daisy really doesn't like to handle that much that's why I ended up paying $7,500 for this snake. There you go, Toothless. There you go. Now, Toothless, of course, is a black dragon, and these guys have become more and more popular, and he's just an absolutely wonderful animal. Again, he'll take food for me really quick, but also, I can pet him and touch him and everything like that. When I got him, they were actually a lot more rare than they are now. Several people have been breeding him. When I bought him, he was just a little, little guy, and they were $7,500 for a baby. Of course, Matilda is sitting here baking under the lights right now. She is an Aldalbert tortoise, and an animal this size, an Aldalbert tortoise, can sell for up to $25,000 her animal. Very hard to get them when they're big like this. And she's only 17 years old. Hopefully she'll be around another 200 years. Dude. Of course, Bowser is an alligator snapping turtle. And he's a pretty expensive animal because you can't really get any big like this very much. Usually $2,500 to $5,000 if you find one this size. But this enclosure itself was very expensive, about $25,000 as well. And again, guys, I don't really care that much about the money side of it, but everyone always asks me how much does it cost to open up the Reptarium? You know, enclosures like Lucy's enclosures, you're looking at $15,000, $20,000. You start adding up all the stuff that I've already showed you and the stuff that I haven't showed you, we're looking at probably somewhere about $1.5 million. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.